Hello guys, it's Jerry from Jerry's Garden with another video this week and welcome back guys and I hope you're all safe and sound and I've got a little bit, it will be probably a little bit longer video today if you're new to my channel, hello and welcome and thank you very much for all your support so far guys and today I decided that I will uh, be repotent, we're just gonna have a chat because I was recently experienced something I thought personally I, I'm immune to it for some reason and uh, yeah we're just gonna discuss that and see how it goes and also we're gonna be repotting my spider plant yeah you probably know it's not exciting but as you can see she's a little bit droopy but I show you a hack that you can lift all this foliage up because she's loving life. I think the spider plants are very underrated, just like a quick sort of history about her. her uh, they are native to the tropical areas and the South Africa, but they were domesticated all over the world. Uh, the most popular house plants is the variegated version, which you can see now. This is the uh, species that's got variegation going uh, in the middle, but there is another species that's got the um, variegation on the margins of the leaves and uh, they beautiful plants they very easy to grow uh, according to NASA study they said that uh, about 70 plants in your house will, will, uh, will eradicate erad what well get rid of it uh, toxins produced by household which is kind of interesting I think it's uh, you know air purifying fantastic this one, it lives on top of my fridge, all right, which I really need to lift that up and I will show you how and it will be upcycling and recycling. Well, let's get into it then. I'm gonna leave her here. I've got my tea. This one is just ordinary black tea with a little bit of honey and lemon. It's glorious day here in UK today. My plant's loving it. Right, what we're gonna need, guys, you definitely will need the gloves and uh, we're gonna need some soil and some potting tray where everything ready for you oops it daisy right uh what i'm using is just the standard guys standard house potting mix from your local uh local shop whatever you want to use or if you mix in your your own soil i always admire people who are doing that and get it gloves on. What I'm going to do first, I'm going to carefully remove her from that pot. It is, well, it is, to be honest, is the cover pot. However, uh, you know, I just stick her in and see and check the roots. Maybe I have to, sorry, it will be shaky. Oh, she's not coming out, guys. That's a bit, that's a bit pain, isn't it? Right, okay. Ooh. Okay, okay. I will be back in the sack. All right, guys. I'm back. I had a little fight with her, but look at this. She's got a beautiful, like white, white, healthy roots. Uh, the spider plants got very thick roots, as you can see as well. These are the young one, but there is no root rot and or anything, which I'm very pleased about. And uh, yeah, the spider plants are very really, like famous for you know the droopiness. I got this as a gift from a neighbor in our old house because he says, Oh, I've got this, I just give it to you. They grow like a weed, and he was absolutely right, right? They grow like a weed. What I'm going to do, I'm going to leave her on the side here and just. Why you like to recycle the compost? I'm gonna put this new just for the nutrient sake of it and uh, mix together. Right, but what I wanted to talk about, guys, uh, I, I thought I'm immune to it. Uh, you, you know, like uh, I'm, I'm not very like like a person who likes confrontation, and uh, if you don't know me. Um, originally from the Czech growing plants as a hobby and I'm trying to do it responsibly and sustainably. In case of like responsibly that means uh, like I'm trying to usually find the uh, you know plants in sale that are on the you know 
uh, bring of dying, try to rewind them. And because I think, uh, I feel price out for plants that are on the bottom shelf with a uh, price tag, you know, clearance and nobody basically buying them and they end up with in the bin. And uh, sustainably and responsibly also because, uh, you know, I try to use the organic fertilizer, I'm trying to use the natural pesticides control like pest control uh, which is usually like a neem spray I said but like just hear me out right I'm not saying <clears throat> that I would not use chemicals I would use chemicals but <coughs> pardon me I would use chemicals but that would be as a last result right and the reason why is that because uh, I just don't like chemicals I'm trying to do that with outdoor gardening as well and um, all the like uh, natural pest control like nematons and stuff like that uh, but yeah uh, and that that's me I just like to grow plants I'm not growing plants to selling them like as a business uh, because I think with now lockdown and the quarantine there was tons and, and tons of new people opening plant shops and supply you with plants and that's fantastic and I, uh, you know, applaud them if they have a, you know, if they want to do that, that's absolutely fine. Me personally, uh, yeah, I do good things, I sell good things, I plant swap, or, uh, you know, trade uh, plant good things. And therefore, you know, uh, like selling plants is not my main sort of uh, source of income. It's just like if somebody, if I don't, if I got enough, I want to, you know, share or sell if somebody is interested. Well, that brings me to the uh, rant on uh, one of the Facebook groups. And me personally, this is, was the last sort of push. And I went uh, off from Facebook. I still have my profile, but I do very rarely go on it because I just find it very like depressing, distressing. Uh, however, <coughs> Uh, if I'm I, if I sell any plants, I go into the groups like local groups. I like don't cast the things for sale and stuff, and uh, do the listening. Well, that's what I did. I I put up my cutting of Epipremnum aureum neon, uh, which can be honest, you can find anywhere here in the Doncaster or or you know, and you can order them online. That's absolutely fine. But again, that's the plant shops. Uh, me as a, I've got this plants for uh, quite a while. I just like you know what I'm just uh, I'm happy to keep that cutting just put it back into the pot make beautiful bushy plant or if somebody looking for it I will you know sell it. I set the price for uh, three leaf cutting for about 10 pounds. I know you may be thinking that's kind of uh, you know expensive for plant what it is. I never said it's the rare plant. Uh, but with the time I spent to cultivate this plant and grow grow her, I thought that would be like appropriate uh, thing. And I always, it's like you, if you buy in the plants, you know, uh, well, me as a as a, a, a person who's selling it, I don't force you to buy it. If you think it's too expensive, go someone else and buy someone else. I don't mind if that plant is not getting sold. However, I put up the listen, uh, listing and just a few hours later uh, I were receiving uh, comments on my uh, you know on my ad advertisement or on my uh, selling profile or the plant I was selling the first comment say F without any anything else and I was just like what the hell is F I have no idea uh, the second uh, comment were discussing the plants but they thought like a 10 pounds it's too steep and they were saying like oh we are selling uh, cuttings free uh, one leaf cutting for one pound and I was just like well that's up to you uh, and third comment they were sharing like a price list for their personal plant shops Obviously there was like a sellers there were not the sellers like um, You know like big national sellers or 
let's say like reputable plant shops you find online uh, like House of Kojo or, or, or other they were just small basically plant sellers open the plant shops and that's fine however I find it quite distressing because I was like why you you know discussing this on my list listing oh we've got a casualty and then it's where, where like kind of uh, you know nasty or you should do this and you should do that and i was just like the plant i i select to sell my plants is my price okay if you selling it for one pound one leaf cutting go ahead i have no problem with that because it doesn't take any business away from me and i'm not growing them for a living right uh, and I found it quite actually, you know, why people doing that because then I felt like, you know, oh look at him, he tried to take money away from people or sell something what is, um, you know, what, what is common for like high price and stuff like that. This is like, I'm happy to keep that pudding, that pudding, you know, I put it back in the pot, leave me alone. Uh, but hey ho, I talked to my other friends and they were always saying like, yeah, I've been, you know, uh, sort of verbally abused that I was selling a uh, plant too cheap. And I was just like, you know, that's not, that shouldn't be other people's business. They shouldn't be like, you know, do you want to spread uh, spread the plant love? Do it. Uh, the way you will do, do that is totally up to you. And I found this like sort of uh, cyber... I wouldn't say the bullying, but more like stressful, uh, stressful uh, thing. But anyway, as the story goes, I contacted the admin of the group and I asked him to remove that comment because I felt it's, you know, vali uh, uh, validating my uh, sort of, uh, my list. I didn't like that comment on my, my listing there because I thought, thought it's not, not good. It looks completely like, oh my god, somebody's got a discussion here. Oh yeah, and you more interested in comments than actually what uh, what was the, um, I'll say, a plant, uh, what was the plant on sale in that time. Uh, and I received a, re a response from him saying like, uh, according to the group, um, you know, rules there is nothing wrong going on i think the people just try to make you lower your price uh, f apparently means following which i don't know what does it mean but like if you comment f and therefore there is nothing he can do and what he recommend me to uh, cancel the li uh, listing and uh, relist it again i was just like really and i was like no that's fine tell you what I'm just gonna keep it I have no time no energy and absolutely no interest to discuss any uh, prices for plants with anyone not especially with the plant sellers which their interest is to sell you a plant I pay for all my plants when I buy them you know sometimes full prices sometimes reduced prices so that's fine that's the uh, you know plants I'm buying if I see the plant where is in the local uh, big box store for uh, 15 pounds but I can get it nice bushy healthy plant from elsewhere online for 25 pounds I then do the research I compare the pictures I compare the sizes, I read the reviews, and then I decided where I get, want to get my plant from. If I want to get it from big box store, I probably get some free riders as well, but that's uh, absolutely fine. Rather than if I buy it from, you know, house plant collector or shop, uh, you know, elsewhere. Uh, I will have nice healthy plant. I will not need to repot it for probably the rest of the year. And that's it. Story ends. I don't force anybody to buy my cutting or discuss something about prices. Right. In that time, because I had a quite hard uh, shift with the um, Facebook uh, before, uh, because of my my private life, I felt actually that uh, thanks to Facebook, my private life was very, uh, you know, 
uh, kind of uh, invented, like validate, well, how do you say it, validate, validate, validated, yeah. So basically, it uh, was connected to my work and it actually get into my private life. And, uh, and then the nice is like, do you know what? Fuck that, I have no time or interest in other people who are more interested what I'm doing than their own life. I like when people like what I'm doing and they're interested in uh, you know, what I'm doing. I will be happy to talk about it. But if they use it like a social media platforms to sort of um, threatening me or in the way sort of intimidated me intimida intimidating me oh god this is quite hot today uh, I'm not interested in that alright I know the social media you put a public um, there are public platforms everybody can see it you can do whatever you wanted to on that uh, well you can do everything what you wanted to but the most of the time you know it's kind of uh, the way you express yourself your feelings and so on and i found that actually now uh, it's kind of frightening and i was just like what what i was doing like the first it started about about a year ago uh with uh, you know elsewhere uh when i was dragged through the different stages and i was just like really I put the comments on the Facebook that uh, somebody from my friends list is basically more interesting in my life and has got the time to, you know, just, you know, make my life more harder. And now the, this sort of um, plant community on Facebook, I had a chat with my friends from the plant community and we, we you know, we came into conclusion that that's what I test. That just like I was just like what? Why people doing this? And I says we all already under pressure with the lockdowns. With you know we can't do this, we can't do that, we can't travel, uh, Brexit, whatever. And now you just you just pick on the people online and you know uh, trying to uh, you know make like like just have an argument. I think. However, one of the comments was actually very nice, I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna give that a, a group comment. When uh, the girl says, I'm very sorry, I'm not trying to tell you, you, uh, you know, how you should sell your plants, I'm just uh, trying to tell you that maybe your price is too high, and if you lower it, you've got more chance to sell it. And I says, um, thank you very much, I really appreciate that, because this is first sort of valuable comment on all that listening. Link. I actually find out that she made things like, all oh, right, you should uh, reduce the price. However, if I put that good things for hundred pounds, uh, I would, you know, I would imagine that people look at that and say like, oh, that's expensive. I don't want that and scroll back down. No need to leave any any intimidating or nasty comments uh, or anything like that. However bring this sort of negativity to close what i did i just basically marked out that, that cutting as a soul put it back into my pot and she is happily growing there i'm happy because i'm growing my plants for my own pleasure for my own mood uh, you know uh, lift my mood and i'm happy to see them grow uh, i'm not selling it as a commercial plant seller like oh my god i've got oh this is the australis lisa oh look at this guy this is quite a big good tank 50 quid no i don't do that but anyway bring this negativity to the close i just basically left facebook completely did the announcement that i will be available only on uh, instagram and uh, yeah if you want to find me you can find me on instagram right guys enough talk about the uh, Facebook bullshit. Now, you can see the spider plants got sort of a uh, uh, tendency to droop like this because she lives on top of the fridge. This is not really like a style uh, which is suitable for me and the reason why is that because when you open the and close the door she get, uh, you know, she's get, getting caught in the door. Uh, which I would like little hack I will show you.
as you as you know or may not know the spider plants got the beautiful uh, flowers and then they uh, you know send out the shoot with the flowers and then with loads of babies and it looks absolutely amazing if you've got the light light health of plants right okay we repotted her which is fantastic now we will be upcycling guys i'm just gonna leave her here or maybe actually on the side and what you're gonna need is basically this is the, well it's not anymore but this used to be like a one liter plastic bottle i uh, could the top which i will show you what i'm gonna do with it i could the bottom this you can use for your seedlings cuttings you put the perline in it, stick the plants in which you don't get uh, uh, rid of that but what, uh, what we need is the middle part guys i don't know if you can see it in the video properly or oh, right and what you do you just basically cut it as it is in the side like that and cut it to open and close and i show uh, show you why if you cut it like that you can adjust the ring you can make it smaller or you can make it larger right what i'm going to do oh, i don't want to damage her anymore right i'm gonna uh, carefully lift this part and insert this plastic bottle in lift the other part you need to be very careful because they're quite fragile can be honest to ensure that everything is in all right all the fo foliage is in and then i will close the ring okay now we need to stick it together oops sorry i just lose it here i'm just gonna put it back in right okay and you just need a little piece of sellotape and you sellotape that together well it's not very good sort of easy work to do it in your gloves because if that's gonna touch but that's it right now I know some people say like oh this is not very aesthetically pleasing it's practical all right she lives on top of the fridge now everything this is lift up and I think it actually looks much nicer what you can do if it's a little bit like um, wobbly you can put a little bit more soil around it just attach that drink put it into the place it's not gonna be wobbly anymore okay and that's the little little hack well it is because the spider plants going from the middle they they expand which uh, once uh, she wants to send new shoots out you probably have to adjust that drink or because it will probably start growing from outside uh, but yeah this is sort of you know the little little hack you can use you can also you know this drink if you don't want it to that high up you can cut it in half and you can just you know use it use it that way uh, but I think it's nice, nice and clear, lives on top of the fridge and uh, it does the, does the job and help her to hold the leaves. I'm just gonna put one more one more piece of sellotape on the bottom part to ensure like all is done. You need to be careful when you stick that in because that plastic could be quite sharp and you don't want to cut any roots off or anything otherwise it will start rotting. Right, what I'm gonna do now with her, I will take her to the bathroom, uh, give her a little, little shower, little water and put, uh, put her back on top of the fridge. And that's bring me to the close to this video guys. I hope you don't mind my little rant and little discussion about the Facebook groups and uh, social media in general. I hope you all say, but what is more important for all of us is that we positive and we just going through this lockdown in uh, you know best as we can and uh, yeah i will be back next week with another video i've got some um, that will be probably an unboxing video for you uh, because i've got something on the way 
and I'm not gonna tell you what it is because uh, because you have to tune in next week. Right, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you like this video, give it a like, subscribe, find me on Instagram, and you take care. See you later.